We will all offer the prayer of meditation. Truly good Father, we truly thank you for loving us so much. May we not be beasts by realizing with our heads, but may we realize with our hearts to become a man. In front of God who says love is the greatest, may we only love with happiness and satisfaction. May our desires be fulfilled. As much as we love, you said you will surely give. That love can only ha happen by four-step repentance. Romans chapter 8 verse 28, we believe this word. Even though we ruined our lives because of because of our ancestors' sins and my wrongdoings. Today, please make them make it all better. We believe because you are almighty, it will happen. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 13. Let's find it. So, God says, John chapter 16 verse 9 if you believe it will happen according to your faith and if you don't believe it's sin you'll be punished so John chapter 16 verse 9 it says if you don't believe it's a sin but it's not something that I can do it's a gift of God Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 so if you do four step repentance he gives you the gift of faith as long as you do the mystery of Christ what a good promise this is and that's why Almighty God, He's made everything by His uh, by His mystery. So at home, you know, if you have a safe, you don't you don't tell the the secret number to the neighbors or to even to your children in case when the parents are out, the children may take it out. So the mystery of God, you are so blessed. He's given it to you. So with that, let's do well. Is this Amen? Let's do well. So, God says He will give you wisdom and knowledge. So, whether you're educated or not, we can all do well. So, this is the month of, of the family. Oh, because I was poor, I couldn't educate my children. That's why at school they're always bullied. Well, that child is going to do well because Wangta, which means bully in Korean, sounds like to be picked as a king. But, you know, the... You know why? Why is it that the parents try to do things by their own strength when they try to use chi? But the kid's being picked as a king. It's when you're bullied. That's when the power of Christ is with you and that's when you become strong. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9 to 10. So because my mother passed away early, I was the worst of uh, bully victims because the the neighborhood kids, if they were bored, they'd just come and pick on me. I was always kicked around. I didn't have a, you know, I didn't have a big brother. So, and in case one of the kids had a bigger brother, I would just lose on purpose. And so then I would hit, you know, walls. And, and so then my hand, all the nerves died and it became strong. So if your children are victim of bullies, you need to give thanks to God. Even the demons know that they're being picked as kings. So there's no better thing than that. So God's will. You didn't know. You have to give thanks in all things. That's why you have to give thanks. We'll all do well. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 13. Let's read it. Even from eternity I am he. And there is none who can deliver out of my hand. I act, and who can reverse it? Amen. So, the 66 books of the, the word, he does it exactly. So, whatever word that you're holding on to, it will happen exactly. So, he's saying, what I do in this world, whatever religion, there is, because there is no religion stronger than he, there is no one who can block what he does. God, if he decides that he will, 
he will give you a disaster or he he's going to disable you or give you a demon or make you poor. It, when he decides that, there's no one who can block that. That's what it says here. But to you and I, you know, I'm in a hotel room. You know, a hotel has all these rooms, but the cleaner walks around with just one key. So what key do we call that? Well, we say it's a key that works. In Korea, it sounds like mannen key. It sounds like master key. So he's given us that key, which is one heart, one way. Let's make that key mine. Let's make that key mine. Is that amen? Is that amen? You know, God, he is so good. Only those who have that key can go to heaven. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 23. It's only those with that key that go to heaven and can block disasters. You know, every time it becomes the new year, they they all want, that people want to buy these these uh, lucky pouches, which, which are like uh, made of strainers. But, you know, when you make herbal medicine, do you, do you just, you know, all the good stuff's gone out. Do you eat the pulp? No, that's why those those lucky pouches don't work. There's nothing but God's word. He is the greatest who decides everything. So when do you make your your daily plans? These days, you know, you don't... Um, learn this at school, but they say when you plan for the year, you plan at the beginning of spring. And if you plan for the day, you plan in the morning. So our ancestors said this. You know, if you want to plan for the day, you do it in the morning. But they don't know how. If you make the wrong plans, then that day is, is a failure. If you plan rightly then yeah you, you do seem to do well but if you plan with your own strength in the end you fall into a trap and in the end, end everything falls into ruin 1 timothy chapter 6 verse 9 so if you make plans for yourself those people are smart you know that means then if you make you know good plans then you'll end up good but so god says eat my word the word is food. Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 1. Eat this scroll, this word, and then go out and work. This word, Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 3, is food. What I'm saying, this, God, this food that God gives, you have, to, you have to see it as precious, but you don't even know that it's precious. So you need to realize. So from this time, you need to listen carefully. So this is the time that God judges. Let's find Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 5. He does exactly according to this word. What God decides upon, there's no one in this world that can change it. So at this time, he's judging. What kind of judgment? Well, According to what you and your ancestors, the sins that you have committed, he judges. Because you don't know what your ancestors, what sins they've committed, all of a sudden you have this accident, this problem, this unhappiness. So from now, you know, these things, they keep coming out. But whatever religion, that religious leader, even though he may say you're going to receive blessings, if God says no, it's not going to happen because no one can block what God does. Other religions, if there's a disaster coming and they stick up these amulets and charms all over their house, they will still receive those disasters. Even people who sell those amulets receive disasters. So all these diseases come from sin. Psalms 103 verse 3. 
When we talk about disease, do you know how many types of disease there are? There are people even here who are suffering. Mark chapter 11, verse 23, verse 24, verse 25. If you become someone who does one heart one way, it will happen according to what you say. Those who have brought disease, it will be cleanly healed. What I say, God works. It happens exactly. And that's why when I go across, you know, all around the world, I just look at the lame and they walk. I just speak and workings happen. If you have that key, all those hotel rooms, whatever room it is, even the best room, you can just open it. And so the Americans come, came to Korea and they could see that this key, it's right, it opens any door. And so Mannen key means a key that works anywhere. And so they, they tried to say it in their American and they said master key. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 5. Almighty God, he judges at this time. Today at one o'clock. You know, I'm not going to, I'm going to make your leg uh, not work because your ancestors, they were informants. It happens exactly according to the Bible. Oh, I'm going to give this person disease today or disa uh, some disaster today. Today, I'm going to kill that person at what time? At this time, he decides everything with his judgment. So other religions, they can't say. They can't say this because they don't have Almighty God. So this is such a precious time. Even just by attending and you say, Father, I have so much sin. I don't even remember them. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 20. But I will do one heart one way. Then all those disasters will disappear. You'll only receive blessings. This is such an, uh, an amazing promise. Other than Almighty God, who could give us such a promise? You know, it's so good that you came, isn't it? Why is it that we've divided North Korea and South Korea with that 38th uh, parallel? That way, we can see which is the country that believes and does well and which doesn't believe. You know, if, it were, if we were divided between Korea and China, they'd say, oh, it's because China is so big that they do well. But in this tiny country, just like a little ring, you know, it, on a finger, we've been divided on the 38th parallel. So in Korea, don't even think about gambling. Today, God's saying he will judge at dawn. So what's going to happen to at this judgment? Oh, I don't know what my ancestors did. If you open up your genealogy, those people who were in these high positions, they have so much sin. And even if in your ancestors you were, you know, you were slaves, there's so much sin because they would curse all the or the high class. But still you can do well in this case or that case. There's no one who hasn't sinned. So don't criticize the sin. Because that's your mirror. It's your sin. So someone who sees that as my sin is someone with faith. Philippians chapter 2 verse 4. So verse 5, let's read it. Jehovah is righteous within her. He will do no injustice. Every morning he brings his justice to light. He does not fail. But the unjust knows no shame. Amen. So what have we found? Zephaniah. So where is Zephaniah? Well, it's, it's next to Habakkuk. And it's before Haggai, so it's between those two. Okay. 
You know, when I say Zephaniah, you're like, where, where's Zephaniah? Is, is it some country in Europe? You know, that person, not only do they know the Bible well, but they know the world well. Who knows? There could be a country that, that you know, becomes Zephaniah. So God, who is just, without He doesn't rest, and He continues to judge a just judgment at dawn. And He tells us this. If someone tells you all the questions in an exam, you know, He's telling us this. And then Psalm chapter 46, verse 5, He says He'll help us. So the one who is judging says he will help us. And he's telling us about this judgment. So let's read verse 5. Jehovah is righteous within her. He will do no injustice. Every morning he brings his justice to light. He does not fail. But the unjust knows no shame. Amen. So every morning, without resting, without fail, he brings his just judgment. Those people who sin in the world, who don't repent of their sins and their ancestors and let them remain, do the sins increase or decrease? They increase. But someone who keeps repenting, do their sins and their ancestors increase or decrease? Those people who didn't know forced out repentance from their parents, and have stored up all these sins. But if we repent, those sins more and more decrease. That's why there's more and more in inequality because it's divided into those with a lot of sin and those with little sin. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 13. It's because of the, the price of their sin that there is inequality. So are there churches, are a lot of churches in North Korea or a lot of churches in South Korea? And that's why South Korea, we have rice left over. When we were in elementary school, just before the liberation, we didn't have rice. So these, you know, elderly mothers, they would hide rice in between their breasts and then the police would catch them and they, you know, take them to prison and t take it away. You know, how much do you think you can fit in there? If You couldn't even fit a lot because it would all drag down, but they would, the mothers would hide this rice and move from village to village. And the reason why they take it is because there's someone sick who needs to eat that rice. But still, these they'd be dragged to, to, the, to the police cell and they'd get beaten if they didn't listen or even killed just because they're moving this rice around. So how is it we became so rich? Jesus, Jesus, because we kept singing hymns. I was saying it's the power in his blood. Because we please God. He said, yes, receive the power. That's how we did well. In this world, this tiny little country, it's, it's a sign. So there's nothing but this. So Almighty God says He will fulfill His word. There's no one who can block what He does. So other religions, other philosophies, they don't work. Every morning He judges. Is this Amen? So because we don't have time, let's read verse 7. Verse 7, I said, Surely you will revere me. Accept instruction so her dwelling will not be cut off, according to all that I have appointed concerning her. But they were eager to corrupt all their deeds. Amen. So whatever difficulty has come to you, yesterday's judgment, according to that judgment, you're either suffering, you have a disease, there are people whose disease is starting. All, all sorts of things have happened. You know, your finances are bad. It's according to your sin. So according to how God judges. So it says here, even though 
so her dwelling will not be cut off. So according to the punishment he's appointed, you know, whether it be three o'clock or five o'clock or in the evening or tomorrow dawn, he, he may have decided to kill you or your children. Even though he's decided upon this judgment, appointed it, what is it that you have to do for it to disappear? As long as you revere, fear him, then he will take away that punishment. Let's read it again. So every dawn he judges. Psalms chapter 46 verse 5, he says, he will help you at dawn, but have you obeyed this or not? Well, you've come here, so you've obeyed. It's, it's not just to go anywhere. Just because you go to the courts, if you're sitting out on the lawn, it's not going to work. You have to go inside. So even though you may wander around saying this is a church or that is a church, but without Christ, it is not a church. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 22 to 23. Without forced at repentance, it's not a church. God is judging. Where does he judge? He helps you where, where there is one heart, one way, forced at repentance. At this church, he judges. Is this amen? So that's how the fathers decided. The mystery of Christ, it's, it's so um, amazing. He says, my word will be fulfilled exactly and no, no one can block what he does. At this time, I will judge. You have to know where. They say here or there, but denominations, do they go to heaven or do they go to hell? Romans chapter 2 verse 8. This truth, this Bible, they don't follow it. So 100% they'll go to hell. Denominations, Jude chapter 1 verse 19. Those who make denominations and factions, they are of the flesh. Romans chapter 8 verse 13. They will surely die and they will never receive, they can, he will never give the Holy Spirit. But those idiots, these beasts that are perishing that go to denominations who kill themselves and their children, those idiots are so, so sad. God says no one can change what he says. It will happen exactly. Every dawn, he says he will judge. So even if you come or don't come, he's still going to judge. But those who come, Psalm chapter 46, verse 5, at, at dawn, God says he will help. So if you, have you come here because you're obeying or disobeying that word? You've come to obey. So if you obey, you will be made chief in the world. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. So because you've obeyed the word that he, he helps at, at this time, but you've got to come to the right place. This is where. Where is God? He's inside of Christ. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 19. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 God, he created everything at the beginning where is he? he's inside of Christ so Colossians chapter 1 verse 15 God with Christ and Jesus he created everything so it's the Holy Trinity that created together so it's that God when he judges, you have to go to that place and obey. So that's when you receive help. Let's receive this help. Is this our man? It's only here that you receive help. So he says he will help you. When he judges, let's say, you know, you you have to receive this fine or you can you will die tomorrow or your children will receive some disaster or have some problem. Or the parents. You know, this is the month of the family. So in the month of the family, you have to surely receive this word. That's how you and your children do well. So he has judged. You know, those people, some judgments have already befallen. You know, you've already received disasters or some people have received death. It's already been appointed. What he appoints, no one can change. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 13, no one can change it. 
But there's one thing. Someone who does one heart one way, it all changes to answers. It all changes to blessings. You fix your destiny. This is such an incredible promise. An incredible promise. Is this amen? That's the promise in verse 7. Let's read verse 7. I said, surely you will revere me. Accept instruction so her dwelling will not be cut off according to all that I have appointed concerning her. But they were eager to corrupt all their deeds. Amen. So God is saying to you and I, at this dawn's judgment, so this is something you have to surely know, and your children have to know this. If the parents, if they are, let's say they're repenting, they're trying to block, but sometimes the water overflows and it just say it goes down to the children. Then today the children will have to receive disasters. Even if you come to Sunday school here, they teach you one, half, one way. Why? Because you have to block these disasters. Let's say the father has this good umbrella and good raincoat and he says to the child, oh, you don't need to wear it. No, the child will still get wet. Even though the father has a good umbrella and a good raincoat, the children also too need to have a raincoat and an umbrella. So this one half, one way. In this month of the family, this is what we have to pass to our children. Even though he's appointed a punishment, what is it that will block this? Fearing. If, if we fear, it will be blocked. So what is this fearing? Let's find Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 39. This is one heart, one way. One heart, one way is to fear. What a precious promise this is. Something this good. Every morning, we have a morning till the day we die. So our children also have a morning every day to the, to the day they die. So every morning we have to do one heart, one way. If we don't, if you don't fear, then the punishment that God has appointed will happen. No one can block this. So pastors, theologians, even if you've believed for generations, you can't do well. It's only, even if you've come for the first time, if you do for one heart, one way, then surely you will go to heaven. And the disasters that God has appointed, you will block them all. This is such an incredible promise. Is this amen? So what is it that we have to do in the month of the family for us, our children, to do well? So God, in verse 39, he's written it. He said, you and your children will do well. That is what one heart, one way is. God has given us one heart, one way. He's given us this. So he's given us this one heart, one way. So for you and your children to do well. Let's read verse 39. And I will give them one heart and one way that they may fear me always for their own good and for the good of their children after them. Amen. This is an incredible promise. God, even the punishments he's appointed, if you fear, he will get rid of them all. Even though you have the death penalty, let's say 12, that will disappear. So if he makes those disasters disappear, what happens in that empty space? He will pour out blessings because he is almighty. He can change disasters to blessings. So Joseph, even though all that happened to him, even though they wanted to kill him, he ended up, those disasters became blessings. God's word, he's giving us such incredible things. Verse 39, let's read it again. Who is it that receives blessings? And I will give them one heart and one way that they may fear me always for their own good and for the good of their children after them. Amen. So always 
always fearing. That is one heart, one way. So when he gives one heart, one way, that is fearing. So when he gives this one heart, one way, who is it that does well? I do well. So those people who aren't doing well, you haven't done one heart, one way. Oh, with this key, some rooms open, but some don't. You know, the room that's got chocolates in them, I can't open that. So I can't eat the chocolates. That's not a master key. You know, if you go to, if you have a key where you can only open the laundry room, that's a headache because all you have, that means all, all you can do is just do the cleaning. So, who does well? I do well. And my children do well. This is the month of the family. Children's Day, Parents' Day, Teachers' Day. The teachers in Korea, they're so respectworthy. One teacher received money. And, and even though that person didn't have the worthiness, he gave them the, the, you know, the, he gave them the job. You just give them money and they, they make you come first. You know, there's all these, these taunting towards them. A parent was talking about a rich person and a teacher and they were, ta- they were being so cynical. Other than God's word, if parents do well, if you look in your family, if the parents do well, the children become problematic. Whatever family... If the parents are respectworthy, the children are problems, even in our country. Why is it they don't put out those statistics? Let's say there's this many state ministers. Well, how many children do they have? Well, let's see what happens to their children. If we put out those statistics, then it would be clear, but they don't. Because if they did put out those statistics, everyone, no, there's no one who would pass. They're all fail. So, in this situation, what's the point of having Children's Day, Parents' Day, Teachers' Day? According to God's word, if you do one heart one way, you do well and your children do well. This is the blessing we have to receive. This is the blessing we have to receive. So then, in case you say one heart one way, it's to go to heaven. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 23. Someone who is surely going to heaven They have to do one heart, one way. So God has given this within this amazing mystery. You know, this Bible, is it something we've made? No, it's something that has already existed. So in verse verse 40, it says, He will follow us eternally to to do us good. So as long as we pass down this one heart, one way, then they will all receive this verse 40. Let's read verse 40. I will make an everlasting covenant with them that I will not turn away from them to do them good and I will put the fear of me in their hearts so that they will not turn away from me. Amen. So he won't depart. So if you do one heart way, yes, you'll go to heaven, but you don't have to worry about your children. They will also live by one heart, one way to go to heaven. And he will follow them to give them blessings, to, to make them do well. You know, even though they're off some, somewhere far away, don't worry. He will follow them to do them good. This is the month of the family. This is what you've come for. It's where we and our children do well. But in the world, if the parents are respect worthy, the children, they're problematic. Why is that? You say, this is so strange. Have you ever thought about that? You know, they tell other people to do well. They talk about, you know, ethics and morals and they have all these doctorates. And, but you go to their families, their spouse relationship is a mess. The children don't listen. I've, I've seen, I've hosted people like that. Why is it that if, you're, if you have a, a good name that your children are like that? So to have this famous name, it doesn't say because you have a famous name, that's why your children are problematic. But if you do one heart one way, you and your children will do well. But they don't do one heart one way. 
One heart is Christ. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 10. It's by Christ that you have one heart. It's, but they don't go to the churches that do four-step repentance. So if the children succeed, the children are problematic. If the, if the parents succeed, then the spouse relationship is bad and they have this unhappiness in their family. What's the point of the month of the family? The month of the family should be that we, our spouses, our children do more and more well. Yes, we may have a limit to our lives and we may die, but Almighty God follows them to do them good. This is the blessing we have to pass down to them. Is this our man? So let's surely do one heart, one way. If we do forced at repentance, that's one heart, one way. So with this blessing, let's surely do well. So in case you don't, believe that he will follow you to do you good. Let's read what it says in verse 41. I will rejoice over them to do them good and will faithfully plant them in this land with all my heart and with all my soul. Amen. So here, those who don't believe in God after three generations, maybe four generations, their seed is cut off. Exodus chapter 20, verse 5 to 6. But here he says, eternally he will follow you to give you blessings. So this is what the month of the family, the Children's Day, Parents' Day, Teacher's Day should be about. But teachers, you, have, you know, there's very few who go to a church that does one heart, one way. They think that just having some, some title is everything. It's all demons and evil. But there are so many people who do wrong. That's why Korea, we still have so many problems. How many university professors live rightly? If there's a thousand rooms in a hotel, if you had a thousand keys, it's so heavy, you know, you'll die trying to take that all. So we just need one that is right. We have to surely go to heaven. We have to block disasters. We have to surely do more well. That is one heart, one way. So who does well? We and our children. So in the 66 books of the Bible, the master key is one heart, one way. This is how we have to always live, always fearing. Whatever judgment there is at dawn, even if God's appointed death, if we do one heart one way, it will change to blessings. What a precious promise this is. At this time, oh, Pastor Park, you know, when I was in the Marines, I faced the death penalty because of sleep. You know, should I be sleeping? You know what time this is? What kind of time this is? Last night at 10 o'clock, my wife called me and said, will you come to dawn service? And so I washed and, you know, I bathed and I prepared to come here. I prepared from 9 o'clock last night. Well, of course, I prepared even before that. But I washed again and I prepared from 9 o'clock. So what should I do at dawn? I've given you something this good. You know, fake churches don't have this one heart, one way. One, one heart is the mystery of Christ. So you want to be the only one that's the only true church that only has this? No, I will give it. Because I've been given freely, I will freely give. Matthew 10, I said, Amen. Where can you have such good news, such joyful news? My ancestors have committed filthy sins. I have sinned and forgotten. But whatever judgment, as long as we do one heart way, one way, we will fix our destiny. We will do well. We and our children will live. We will do more well. Let's all receive this blessing. There's nothing but this. So, because you do four-step repentance, because your hearts are so enlarged, you know, when you receive this, you're like, oh, yeah, that. You have to become like that. It, you know, even if you've given all of the world, could you change it with this? No. This is where I live. I save my children. Even if you have the whole world, it's, it's nothing. And that's why Matthew chapter 16, verse 26. You, 
not just this world, but the whole universe. You are of more worth. Do you, if you now know your value, let's live correctly. Let's live by one heart, one way. Is this amen? Let's live in the best way. So this is the month of the family. What is it that I have to give you? What is it that you can live by for happiness and to live with happiness and satisfaction? There's nothing but this master key. Let's say this master key. It's a key that's right for everything. A key has to be right. And that's why Americans, they tried to say man and key, which, which is a key that, that is right. So let's say to the person next to us, let's live by one heart, one way. Let's live by one heart, one way. Let's live by one heart, one way. Did we read up to verse 41? So if you keep reading past that, it's even better. So one heart, one way. Let's say one heart, one way. Even if you were sleeping, one heart, one way. When you do one heart, one way, The punishment that God has appointed, oh, you're not listening. You're like a scheming donkey. Even then, even if you wake up from your sleep and you say one heart, one way, the Father will say, receive blessings, take the blessings, live with blessings. Is this amen? And that's why that was swept with a broom. It was, it was wiped with a cloth. I haven't done a lot of calligraphy, you know, but I did, you know, exhibit in a national exhibition. And But God said, get a broom and get a cloth and to sweep and wipe. And that's what I did. You know, I bought a broom and sometimes I think, oh, if I wrote it again with a broom, I could write it better. But he's like, if you fix that, then it becomes art. That's not writing. So, because I wanted to boast of my name, I, I went outside of Christ and, and was a demon. So I said, Lord. So when we pray, if you say Lord really strongly, it sounds like to die. But if we die, then we live. So let's live by one heart, one way. Let's not just end it with the month of the family, but to always live with one heart, one way, one way. So for me to live, my children to live, let's save Korea. Let's save the world. Let's all call upon the Lord three times. And one heart, one way, let's receive the Lord. Why is that clock going so quickly? the month of the family? How is it that you've decided to live? You know, at the ch children's, the amusement park, it said the cup noodles are $3. You know, their rent is $4,000, dollars a month. You know, when they bought it in auction, They ha that's why those noodles are $3. You know, these cup noodles outside are not even $1, but inside the amusement park, they're $3. And so now they know the reason. But, but those noodles are the same, whether they're $3 or $0.80. Cents. But buying those cup noodles, is that what Children's Day is about? What, dragging the kids around so that you can view? The kids are saying their legs are, their legs are tired. You know, you carry the dog, but you won't carry your child. And yeah, sh sure, that's a great children's day. You know, they're, they're all crying to be carried. Let's live properly. There's nothing but one heart, one way. Have you lived with discouragement? Nowhere to go. There's nothing but one heart, one way. Even if you go to church, if there's no one heart, one way, that's fake. Only this way you can go to heaven and block disasters. Let's live this way. Let's save ourselves and our children. Let's call upon the Lord three times. Let's do one heart, which is forced at repentance. Lord, Lord, Lord.
Father, this incredible promise, help us to only live by this word. May I live, may I save my children, and may I save this country and this people, and to save all of mankind in the world.